For top teams in the world, winning tournaments becomes expected. When you have rosters stacked with star players, not finishing first is a disappointment. In 2017, this was the story of FaZe Clan as they reworked their roster into an absolute powerhouse filled to the brim with expectations. They signed Nico from Mouse Sports, transferred over Guardian from Na'Vi, and finally picked up Olaf from Fnatic. With these three pieces joining forces with Kerrigan and Rain, FaZe started to enter the top five conversation. Once the whole squad was together, it didn't take long to show just how dominant this team could be. After a dreadful showing at DreamHack Masters Malmo, FaZe turned their attention to ESL 1 New York. Their first task was to make it out of groups, something they failed to do at DreamHack a couple weeks prior. Virtus Pro was up first, and it didn't take long to see that FaZe was up to something special. He does have the bomb, no utility, nothing to really play with. Takes the fight on the first, he wins it, time is ticking though, it's dwindling. Bomb will be planted and Taz can't stop this. Molly goes in, but it's late. And now Nico is loose, and that's one thing you do not want to see. Nico, what an animal. A best of one win over Virtus Pro wasn't enough to hint at what FaZe had in store, but after a one-sided map against Astralis, people began to take notice. Let's see where he plants. Eight seconds, Bomb going in. He needs support, he needs a covering fire. Rain just unleashes Fury. Glaive is there though. Oh, Nico needs to be absolutely precise, and he is! That's Nico! As FaZe seems kind of slink back in this very passive manner. Rain will be watching for this push out. He does have support from Pit, so he's not completely isolated. And this crossfire is so damn good. With two dominant wins, FaZe locked up first place in their group and secured a semi-final matchup against Cloud9. As good as FaZe looked in groups, they somehow looked even stronger against the NA hopefuls of C9. Bomb in the hands of this man. Skadoodle has to be careful. The timing, it's gotta hurt. Now it's Tarek, the 1v2. One minute left. But look at the bomb, and look at that. Guardian gonna find the angle, take him down. And remind Cloud9 that this is not their game yet. Nico's gonna be the one pressuring. Here he comes, and actually gonna fall right back with it, but it's Rain from the other angle. Two kills. In the entire best of three, FaZe only dropped seven rounds, and Guardian led the way with 43 frags. FaZe Clan were firing on all cylinders, but they still had one more opponent left in their way. Another North American team in Team Liquid. FaZe had yet to drop a map all tournament, but their most dominant act was still to come. Kerrigan dies in the last rounds. So too to see in this one. Oh, oh the auto sniper that gives the liquid their best chance, except the oh, oh, still oh. in the back of the site. And he's got accuracy. He's got. Oh my god. Get up, Vesnava. Wins on Guardian. They go above smoke. Flash. Oh, the flash timing. It's almost decent because Rain, although through the smoke, gets them and shuts it down. I was going to say. 15 nothing, 15 nothing in a grand final best of I, five. Faves starting off on a map that Liquid has won twice this weekend. I don't think I've ever casted a 15-0 uh, in a grand final before. This is a first. After the perfect opening half, Faves would eventually close it out to take a 1-0 series lead. From there, Nico would completely take over the server. It's up to Nico to pick up the paces now. And Twist smartly gets inside of the smoke to avoid Guardian. However, he gets behind the pillar. Nico, he steps up. Suddenly, he's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. This fight stands. Great start. And oh! Nico! Versus Elise, and Nico's got accuracy every time. Nico picked up 26 kills on overpass to put phase one map away from a perfect tournament. And although TL put up a fight this time around, Mirage wouldn't be nearly as close. Nades rain. The arsenal towards the firebox in hope of a kill. All in in one position, and Guardian makes it just nice. Trying to find the flash. And Nico fittingly gets the last kill as phase dominate New York in 2017 in the Barclays Center all the way through this tournament. Nico blew Team Liquid out of the water in the third and final map. He had 23 kills, 6 deaths, and an absurd HLTV rating of 2.13. And of course, for Team Captain Kerrigan, how could you not be a little cocky after becoming the ESL1 New York champions without dropping a single map? What has it been like winning and playing in New York in front of this crowd? It has been amazing, you know many US fans here hoping for a US victory, but uh, I guess they have a chance next year when the New Yorkers come back, hopefully. I'll say we are ready for the next tournament and I hope somebody can bring more to the table.